So there's a couple ways that you can write shorthand lab values. Sometimes we call these fish bones, or we call them lab value skeletons. And understanding how to do this can, can keep you more organized and help you write the lab values in a way that other healthcare professionals understand them. So let's go ahead and talk about that. To talk about that, let's look at this example lab value report. If you look at the lab value report, as you see over here on the far uh, corner over here, we have our value. So our white blood cell, our hemoglobin, hematocrit. After that, then we have the value that the patient has. And then in the far column, we're gonna have the normal range for that. So this will be based on your institution. You know, for this institution here, we have white blood cells, normal range of 4,500 to 10,000. All right, so that's gonna vary based on, on institution. And so you get all this, okay, and this is a lot of information. You know, it could take a little bit of time to work through. So what you can do is you can start writing these in to these skeletons or these fish bones, okay? So this really gives you a way to organize them by panels. Once you're, you're throwing all these different lab values, what you can do is you can start to write them by these panels. All right, so you can see over here we have our PT, PTT, INR. That's gonna be our bleeding times. We have our uh, ABG right down here at the bottom. We have our liver enzymes. Then we have our Chem7 uh, and our Chem10 over on the left corner. So what you do is you take all this information you're given here in your, your lab report and you begin to start organizing it into these skeletons and into these panels. So let's do a little example here. So, okay, we've been given our CBC and we want to write it into the, to the skeleton. So what we do on our, our skeleton or on our fish bone for our CBC, we have white blood cells over here on the uh, far left. So for our patient, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write five right here. And that stands for 5,000. So you're gonna write five right there, uh, indicating 5,000. Above that, we're gonna write our hemoglobin. For this patient, it's 14.2. And below, right below that, rewrite our hematocrit. Okay, for this patient, it's 42.6. And next to that, we're gonna write our platelet count. You know, let's say for this patient, our platelet count is 150,000, so you would write 150. So with that, then you've created your fishbone for your complete blood count, where your physician or your other providers can really just kind of look at that really quickly. And then we can do an ABG really quick. So first with ABG, what we're gonna write is we write our pH. So our pH would be 7.4. Our PACO2 is gonna be 40 on this patient. Our O2 is gonna be 95. HCO3 is 24. SAO2 on this patient is 96. And our base excess is one. So what that really does is it takes your ABG, it takes this, this printout that you get of the ABG, it allows you to write it just like this, you can put it with all the other values. Your physician can come in in the morning or your provider can come in in the morning and say, hey, how's the patient's ABG? They can get here and they can look right at this, uh, this fishbone, the skeleton. All right, and then we have our liver panel, same thing. What you'll have up here on the top is your T-billy or direct billy. For this patient, we have 0 0.1, uh, AST, ALT is uh, AST is 15, ALT is 15 as well, and your alkaline phosphatase or ALP is 60. And so you can see each of these panels looks a little bit different from the other, and that helps kind of keep them straight and it gives you a way to put them all together. And then we have our Chem7 and our Chem10. So our Chem7 is gonna be on top, two, four, six, seven, where we have our sodium, potassium, chloride, HCO3, BU and creatinine, and your glucose. And then we have our, our calcium, magnesium, and phosphate. So we just kind of work through this. Other ones we have here, guys, uh, we have our bleeding times, our PT, PTT, INR. You can write it just like that with kind of a upside down uh, or a peace sign. And then we have a more uh, developed kind of liver panel uh, there. So we do have some cheat sheets on different labs. If you go to nrsng.com slash labs, you can get all of our cheat sheets and and that's gonna help you, okay? So this is kind of a way to keep these lab values straight. There's so many lab values to know and being able to write them, take your, your printout that you're given of your patient and of their lab values and then being able to put it in these organized skeletons or fish bones is a way to really keep you organized, all right? So that's how you do this. That's how you write uh, shorthand labs, lab value fish bones, lab value skeletons. Uh, watch this a couple times, uh, take a screenshot of this and that's gonna help you, all right? Happy nursing.